manual muscle testing grades. Zero, there's no contraction seen or felt. A one or a trace grade, contraction is felt but no motion. Two or a poor grade, moves through partial or full range of motion in the gravity eliminated plane. A grade of three or fair, moves through partial or full range of motion against gravity. A grade of four or good, moves through full range of motion with moderate resistance. A grade of five or normal, moves through full range of motion with full resistance. Manual muscle testing for thumb MP flexion. The client is seated or supine, the forearm supinated, the wrist in neutral position, and the thumb in extension and adduction. The therapist is seated next to or opposite the client. The therapist will provide stabilization at the first metacarpal and the wrist. The therapist will palpate the client over the middle of the palmar surface of the thenar eminence just medial to the abductor pollicis brevis muscle. The therapist will observe the client flexing the MP joint while maintaining extension of the IP joint. If the patient can complete this motion, they will, they will receive a grade of three or fair. Next, the therapist will provide minimum resistance on the palmar surface of the first phalanx toward MP extension. If the patient can, com can resist this motion, they were, will receive a grade of four or good. Next, the therapist will provide max resistance on the palmar surface of the first phalanx toward MP extension. If the Client, if the client is successful resisting this motion, they receive a grade of five or normal. Manual muscle testing for thumb MP extension. The client is seated or supine, forearm in mid position, wrist at neutral, and hand and forearm resting on the ulnar border. The thumb is flexed into the palm at the MP joint, and the IP joint is extended but relaxed. The, ther the therapist sits opposite or next to the client on the side to be tested. The therapist will provide stabilization at the wrist and the thumb metacarpal. The therapist will palpate the extensor pollicis brevis tendon on the dorsoradial aspect of the base of the first metacarpal. Observe the client extending the MP joint while the IP joint remains relaxed. If the client can complete this motion, they will receive a grade of three or fair. Next, the therapist will provide minimum resistance on the dorsal surface of the proximal phalanx toward MP flexion. If the client is successful with this, they will receive a grade of four or good. Finally, the therapist will administer max resistance on the dorsal surface of the proximal phalanx in the in MP toward MP flexion. If the client is successful with this, they will receive a grade of five or normal. Okay. All right. For thumb IP flexion, the client is seated with the forearm fully supinated, wrist in neutral position thumb extended and adducted, and the therapist is seated next to or opposite the client. The therapist will provide stabilization at the wrist, thumb metacarpal, and proximal phalanx of the thumb in extension. The therapist will palpate the flexor pollicis longus tendon on the palmar surface of the proximal phalanx. The therapist will observe the client flexing the IP joint in the plane of the palm.
If the client can perform this motion, they will, will receive a grade of three or fair. Next, the therapist will provide minimum resistance on the palmar surface of the distal phalanx toward IP extension. If the client can resist this motion successfully, they will receive a grade of four or good. Next, the therapist will provide maximum resistance on the palmar surface of the distal phalanx toward IP extension. If the client is successful in resisting this motion, they will, re they will receive a grade of five or normal. All right. Manual muscle testing for thumb IP extension. The client is seated or supine, forearm in mid position, wrist at neutral, and hand and forearm resting on the ulnar border. The thumb is adducted, the MP joint is extended and, or slightly flexed. The IP is flexed. The therapist sits opposite or next to the client on the side being tested. The therapist will provide stabilization at the wrist in neutral position, the first metacarpal, and the proximal phalanx of the thumb. The therapist will palpate the extensor pollicis longus tendon. Observe the pa patient extend the IP joint. If the patient is successful with this motion, she will receive a grade of three or fair. The therapist will then provide minimum resistance on the dorsal surface of the distal phalanx down toward IP flexion. If the patient resists this motion, they will receive a grade of four or good. Then the therapist will, will provide maximum resistance on the dorsal surface of the distal phalanx down toward IP flexion. If the patient successfully resists this motion, they will receive a grade of five or normal.